the stuff Sarah brought and on the roof as well. So that ferry is where we're going. I love these little windows because they always remind me of the first Jurassic Park with the dinosaur goes. So we have spent a couple of months in the UK but now it's time to ditch the jackets and go and spend two months and a bit in Portugal taking Brittany ferries from Plymouth which is about four hours from London and then it will be a 28-ish hour ferry journey so overnight um, to I think actually 21 21 hours sorry who knows we don't know might be two nights might be one night who knows <laughs> and we'll end up in Santander and then from there we have an eight and a half hour drive to Porto. So we've just checked in where they check our passports and also our COVID vaccination certificates. And we are traveling in the beginning of July and they've actually just reinstated the use of masks in the ferry and uh, in the port as well. We're just waiting to go through another security check, but we have got our key card. To the Commodore suite. We only realized that we'd booked this cabin about two days ago. Go find deck eight. just stopped just before our room by two very nice gentlemen where we have booked our table for dinner and our breakfast tomorrow morning which is served in the galley. So now we're in our cabin and before the travel sickness uh, medication kicks in and I'm like <laughs> for the next 21 hours let me give you a tour of our Commodore cabin here at the Brittany Ferries Pont Avon Ferry. So, if you've watched our ferry video from last year, you might remember that we had a four-person cabin, but it was tiny. This is also a four-person cabin, but it is the best one um, in the ferry, and we're very excited because there's loads of space. So, I'm going to start with the sleeping area. There's two uh, single beds, and as you can probably tell, I've already jumped on my bed. <laughs> which is super comfy and um, really nice mattress and there's extra pillows as well and they give you these little refreshing towels on your bed as well we have a place to put our luggage which we've already done um, this is a snack bag the most important and we have two wardrobes the first one has shelves more towels and another one that has a safe and extra pillows. So, next I'm gonna show you the bathroom. I love these little windows because they always <laughs> remind me of the first Jurassic Park with the dinosaur goes. So, let's come into the bathroom. So we have a cute little vanity with Phytoma toiletries, which are actually really nice. Hair dryer as well shower which is a decent size and a separate toilet and they're quite fluffy the towels which is quite nice now I'm gonna show you to the living area so as I said this is actually a four berth cabin and one person can sleep up there as well and then this becomes a bed. But for us, it will just be a very nice sofa where I'll probably have my breakfast tomorrow because we get uh, breakfast served in our room, which is so nice, because there's nothing better than having your breakfast in your pajamas. And as a complimentary welcome basket, they have macaroons oh, and a bowl of fruit, which is a really nice touch. Then we have TV and DVD player, 
The ferry that we were in last year actually was a little bit more modern, so it already had uh, a smart TV, which this one doesn't have. Uh, there are tea and coffee making facilities and hot chocolate, which is Eddie's favorite. And a fridge with some complimentary waters and a Pepsi and some orange juice. So here you have Eddie's office for the next day and I'm now going to show you the best bit. This is the first time we've had this and I hope we get to enjoy it. Hopefully it's not too choppy. Our very own balcony. So I hope you've enjoyed this tour. I hope um, I'm going to be able to get make use out of this room and not feel seasick. What we're going to do next is we've got a couple of hours before our scheduled dinner uh, and we are going to go explore the ferry and explore the Commodore Lounge, which we have access to because we've booked the Commodore Cabin. On the ship to Point Avon, the lounge is considerably smaller and only has tea and coffee facilities. Whereas with the Galithia, we actually had a huge lounge, which is beautiful, and we actually serve um, food and snacks throughout the day for free with the VIP club room. It's windy, but I'll lose my cap. The Pont Avon is the largest in the Brittany Ferries fleet with a cinema, spa, a small pool and plenty of outside space. There's a cafe, bar and two restaurants. We had dinner at the Flora restaurant and had their three-course meal of a buffet starter and dessert with an a la carte main course for £32. So how's breakfast? I don't know yet, I haven't started eating yet, but it looks good, can't wait to tuck in. Uh, it was a little bit choppy last night, um, I worked till about midnight, which is really good, got loads of stuff done, super excited. I do need some internet, and internet is a bit slow. Went to the lounge and tried to get internet again. Uh, I managed to load Google in about five minutes, but I wasn't able to do a search. But I did meet some other techies, which was uh, really good. So we're just approaching Santander in Spain and we're late leaving the cabin. Someone just came to knock on our door, so we better go. So now we're just waiting in the car in the sort of basement garage of the ferry, waiting to go. I'm eating some nice cold grapes. We actually had a really relaxing morning. I just sat in bed watched season two hacks on my iPad. Eddie coded, Eddie went around the ferry taking some photos of his laptop. It was so nice to have breakfast in the cabin, in our pajamas, um, and now we're getting ready for the seven hour journey. Video later will definitely deteriorate as Sarah goes to sleep. Oh, yeah. Oh no, that's not the reading light. That's not the reading light either. You do need to go to the gym. The glasses are.